Hello, this is Rogue SMG, and let's see the top six extensions for bug bounty. First, Pondfox. Pondfox is a Firefox bug extension. It's one of my personal favorites. It opens different session in different tabs, colorizes all requests for a particular tab to a particular colors. So you can easily differentiate between different users or accounts and test for authorization bugs easily. There are some other features as well. Check those out. Just install the extension from Firefox add-on store. Download the zip and import the jar file in Bob Extender. Turn Burp Proxy on from the Firefox extension and select a color to open a new tab for that session. And that's it. All your sessions will be in different colors in the Burp history as well. It's a pretty nifty extension and it will help you save a lot of your time. So start using it. Next is Vapalizer. It's available on both Chrome and Firefox. Download it from the respective store. It's a technology lookup extension. It will help you find what technologies are being used by any particular web application. If you are trying to hack on a site and want to know what technologies are being used and don't want to use any fancy tools or command line, this is a pretty handy extension to have. In most of the cases, it will accurately tell you what kind of technology stacks are being used by the web application. Next is open multiple URLs. Okay, I messed up the name, but Google is smart, so stop making a big deal out of it. It's available on both Chrome and Firefox. Download it from the respective store. It's a very simple but useful extension. It opens all the URLs that you provide to it in different tabs all at the same time. It helps a lot when there are a ton of subdomains. Just open all of those 10 at a time and note down all the interesting ones. It's a very neat no BS extension which helps you get past the passive recon phase and move ahead. No command line, no screenshot, no nothing. Just copy the URLs, paste those and see for yourself. Next is Shodan. It's available on both Chrome and Firefox. Download from the respective store. It's again very simple yet efficient extension which shows open ports and IP of any particular web application. It does not require a Shodan account and it helps a lot. Look out for any interesting ports open and check the services running on them. Look for any CVs and there's an easy win right there. You can also click on view host details and it will take you to the Shodan page of that particular IP address where you will find some information about all the open ports on that web application. Next is who is. Names and devs might be different, but it's available on both Chrome and Firefox. Don't be stupid asking for links. You are a hacker for God's sake. If you can't Google stuff, stop this video right now and throw away your laptop. It's a very simple extension which just shows the Whois data of any particular website. It's very handy and might help find new attack surface and expand your scope. But it mainly helps ensure if you are in scope by checking if the subdomain you are trying to hunt on actually belongs to the target organization or not. Spending 5 days on a subdomain just to finally find out that you are out of scope is not something you want to go through. Trust me. So don't be a loser and always check if you are in scope or not. Last one is Cookie Editor. Again, names and devs might be different but something as such is definitely available on both Chrome and Firefox. Pause the video, go find the links to both and mention it in the comments. This extension basically helps you to read, modify and play around with the cookies. This could potentially lead to anything from cross-site scripting to privilege escalation or nothing at all depending on how your target makes use of cookies. It's again a very handy extension to have since a lot of sites make use of cookies in some way or the other. That's all for today. Like and subscribe. Thank you.